So Ayurveda is a science of life. We all have life. Who don't want to know about life? So it's talk about how to bring health, harmony and peace in every walk of our life to have the best out of us. And that is the secret of Ayurvedic medicine. During Ayurvedic Wellness Educator program, students have the opportunity to learn practice management. So this 45 hours class include the different aspect of the practice. You know, HIPAA component, what are the, the legal aspect you need to take care of before you start the practice, how to develop the website, very basic knowledge, you know, how to develop the website, how to market your clinic. And we also bring the graduate or student from SCU alumni or different practitioners so that students have the opportunity to learn what other people are doing after they graduate. And this actually a really a great model and it inspire our students and getting into the clinical setting. So during the Ayurvedic practitioner program, the main focus here is to learn about how to diagnose the disease, understand the pathology of the diseases, and then how to come up with the treatment plan and treatment. How do you combine different herbal formula to manage a disease? How do you combine different therapies or how do you recommend different therapy for managing the disease? So if you look at in the practitioner program, we have five internal medicine class, just internal medicine class itself, five, and the faculty are all Ayurvedic M and or the Ayurvedic BAMS doctor who graduated from India who had more than 20 years of clinical experience are teaching this in all the internal medicine classes so that you know, it, all these faculties are also working clinicians so they can bring the real case scenario into the classroom setting as well and we also have the opportunity to learn much more in depth of the pharmacology her, Ayurvedic herbology and pharmacology uh, you will be learning throughout the program more than 100 plus herbs and 30 plus formula and then some of the herbal basic herbal preparation which can be used in your clinical setting both the program ayurvedic wellness educator and ayurvedic practitioner we do have the hands-on component tied into the program where students will have the opportunity to learn various therapies so the wellness educator program the therapy is what you will be learning more about the health and wellness care health promotion like body hot oil massage oil dripping therapy on the forehead that is shirodhara and uh, you know beauty therapies or back therapy neck therapy and knee therapies to promote your health and wellness whereas in the practitioner program with the which more focus on managing the disease how to what type of therapies are good for managing osteoarthritis or we call it samdhivata what therapy can be recommended for the patients with the rheumatoid arthritis or gouty arthritis or fibromyalgia or depression and anxiety so if you look at the the two-year program mainly focusing actually how do you, you recommend the diet lifestyle herbs and various type of body therapies and yoga for health promotion wellness care as well as managing the diseases my name is christina and i am a student here at scu part of the ayurveda practitioner program i am learning a lot about different herbs that help with specific um, diseases to help manage those diseases we get to learn hands-on i'm also part of and work in the pharmacy um, as a pharmacy assistant for Ayurveda, so I get to fill the um, herbs and I get to work hands-on and we get to learn a lot and how to understand how to help people with these herbs. And the amazing thing is whenever you're working in the clinic doing the hands-on training, you get to see the people come in and you get to see them heal. You know, they get better every time that they come in. So the treatment what we showed today, the first one is the Kadibasti. So that's a therapy we mainly use for back pain or any kind of uh, disc prolapse or degeneration in the disc. Um, this therapy helps to manage those conditions. So ba basically what happened this, during this therapy is we used um, dough to make a ring kind of a structure so that the oil can be hold on to it and then we use the medicated oil the oil which are prepared out of different type of herbs uh, some oils are containing almost 35 to 40 herbs mainly for 
reducing the pain and also rejuvenating or strengthening the joints and uh, reducing the swellings etc so patients feel after the therapy they may feel much better with the pain or they may be easy to move around thus it reduces help to reduce the stiffness rigidity etc so when we do this therapy on the lower back it is called kadibasti so the main indication of these therapies are to reduce the pain and to strengthening the joint to improve the flexibility and reduce the rigidity etc so uh, abhyanga it's a full uh, body massage hot oil massage who don't like the massage right everybody like and that too with the hot oil no wonder so here what we do it's almost you know about 40 minutes 45 minutes sometimes two people will be doing the massage or sometimes one person may be doing the massage so here again we use a warm oil hot to warm temperature and oil prepared out of different herbs and the base oil can be sesame oil or coconut oil but the herbs which um, are cooked with this oil can be reducing the pain improving the you know uh, stiffness and rigidity and strengthening the joint relaxing the muscle so basically ambienga can be used for therapeutic purpose to you know a patient suffering from full body pain sometimes you know again you need to have an ayurvedic consultation to find out whether the ambienga is indicated or not because since we use the oil in certain conditions a being guys contraindicated but generally can be used for rejuvenatory purpose relaxation and calming the body calming the mind and as well as sometimes it is used for a, you know joint pain muscle pain body ache you know stiffness rigidity etc usually the abhyanga is followed with steam so the hot uh, the people will be doing the massage from the top of the head up to the bottom of the feet and then after the massage we will be giving the herbal steam or just a steam from which is produced from the hot water and that also help to absorb this oil into the system much better way and improve the overall result out of the abhyanga Yeah, we also saw about the churna pinda sweda. That is the balas therapy. So we use the powder, herbal powder, to prepare this balas, and her it's called herbal balas. So the patient will be massage first, and again, depend on the patient's condition, the oil what we will be using will be different. So vata specific condition, pitta specific condition, or kapha specific condition, the. oil selection can be different and then we use this balas we heat the balas and then use massage all over the body first it will be like a pounding like you know and after that we use that balas and to do the massage so again this helps to improve the circulation strengthening the joint rejuvenating the joint and reduce the pain and stiffness etc so that is churna pinda sweda it's by type of a sweating therapy that is what this is classified under as type of sweating therapy so depend on the patient condition the selection of what we use in this balas will be vary but generally it is strengthening the joint strengthening the body reducing the pain reducing the swelling all this condition we can use this therapy The reason why I would say to come here to SUHS is because it's of their integrative approach. Right now, I would say that our medical um, care system is going towards the integrative um, medicines, and I would say that it's just a really good opportunity. You get a lot of hands-on, you get a lot of knowledge, you get a lot of access to the teachers who really want you to succeed here, and that's what I'm so happy about. They really are, are helpful. herb is major component of the ayurvedic practice so within the program the first year program ayurvedic wellness educator we complete about 45 hours of the herbs herbology class so students are mainly learning about the different properties qualities and function and indication of health promotion herbs so here first year program students are not learning about the herb which can be used for managing the diseases so that mainly comes under the practitioner program so here about 120 hours of herbology and pharmaceutics is included in the second year ayurvedic practitioner program so students have the opportunity to learn about individual herb and their property and indication apart from the how to combine the herb what herbs needs to be combined for a specific 
condition and also they will be learning about classical herbal formula 30 plus classical herbal formula are included within the curriculum students get the opportunity to how to prepare it how to prepare the arishtam or asava or how to prepare the herbal jam or lehim and the same component same thing apart from the class when they are in the clinic they will be able to see how the practitioners are recommending these herbs to their patient and i think that is very important when we look at any clinical practice apart from the theoretical knowledge what students gain from the classroom they also need to get that knowledge uh, in front of the patient how we give to the patient how we recommend that to the patient and what all are the precautions we need to take with what the herbal powder should be given when should be given before food after food what should be the dosage they get the opportunity to work under a practitioner and they see how the practitioner interact with the patient and that is very important for the any clinical focused health education if you are a student who are interested to learn more about holistic approach for the wellness care as well as managing the diseases if you are a person who want to have the self revival and to bring harmony and peace within yourself and if you are a person who wants to bring the happiness and the best out of you then this is the program for you and you have the opportunity to learn with other healthcare practitioner at SEU we do have the different doctoral program so you do get the integrative uh, medicine setting you get the opportunity to interact with the different healthcare practitioner so please come to SEU you are welcome